Hi, it's Glenn. Thanks for joining in. Today I'm giving you the basics so that you can design your own ultimate adventure playground. I'm showing you my rough version here, which I always do to think about different options that I could put in my final drawing. Let's start off with a cube. I've drawn one in lightly here to show you where we're going. For those that haven't drawn a cube before, if this is your first time, easy, three steps. One, trace around the outside and that vertical line, the center splat line. Slide upwards, two lines, flip it around, and then at the top, two more lines, and you're done. Now we're going to add one more cube on top. This is step one again, only three lines to draw. Slide up, step two, those two lines. And step three was to flip it upside down, line up the corners, and draw those two top lines. Cool. Now we have a few lines that if it was a solid object, we wouldn't see, so we'll erase those. When I've done some erasing, then there's a little fix up to be done. I'm using the splat to get those angles right again. Now let's draw a cube, sliding it in that direction. That's where we started the last cube, I'm going to move it that distance, so one splat length. We're doing the three steps, but some of the lines I don't need to draw. Just one there. Flip upside down, and there's my step three. And that's how easy it is to stack cubes. You can actually stack them in any direction with just a little bit of practice. Let's try going to the left and backwards. Start in the same place. Slide one splat length in that direction. Notice how the splat is always straight up and down. And then my three steps for a cube. It's like Minecraft, where you can take away or add cubes in any direction. Another concrete block. Later we'll design a way to get a person from the large structure across to that block. But first, how do we get them on top of the big structure? Let's use a ladder in a bit more detail than I've shown you before. Draw a line at any angle you like. can start and stop pretty much anywhere. Draw another line parallel. Make it longer than you need it. The trick here is, how do you trim it off? Well, here's how. Go back to the first line and then transfer on that splat angle a mark and that's where you need to trim it to. Let's repeat on the bottom. Great. Now I'm drawing a line right beside those two to make it look like a piece of round metal tube. So at the top I'll draw a circle and a half circle at the bottom. A little tidy up right here and a redraw. Now it's time to plan the rungs. I know they'll be on that right splat angle. I'm doing a sneaky I'm using the line that's already there as the rung and putting another line right beside it and then my little half circle. Here's a rung in between. One, two lines and the half circle. Let's do the sneaky again. Let's use that line that's already there as the rung and just put one in between each cube. Alright, that's looking great. Let's do a little clean up there if you like. Or if you're colouring it with a darker pencil, a dark pencil would go over that and you probably wouldn't need to do that little fix up. But there you have it. Always draw with really light lines. It makes it so much easier. Dark lines are only for when you really know that you've finished uh, part of your drawing. These people look too small to climb that ladder so I'm erasing and enlarging the people. What if this whole structure was one piece of concrete? I probably wouldn't have those joints. So let's erase those. Do a little fix up here. Let's add some design detail now to make it look not so boring. Two little marks. Join them together. And erase. Draw in your own design detail and make yours look original. 
let's engineer a method to get the person from the big structure to the smaller cube. One of the ways to consider would be a really simple wooden plank or beam. I've drawn two parallel lines and I'm using the right splat angle to end those off. It looks really thin like paper and I'm sure it would bend unacceptably. So, how can we make it stronger? Let's make it thicker. From each of those points, drop a line straight down and then join those up using your ruler. The small cube looks like it's floating in the air and I did consider putting some legs underneath it but in the end decided to leave my drawing really simple. Let's engineer a way to hold a zip line above the structure. I wanted to start there. I'm going to attach a metal frame from those three points. First I draw a pyramid by connecting them to the apex there and each line I draw has a second line really close beside it. Great. Let's make this look like a cable by running a second line right beside that one. Cables are made from metal and ropes are made from plastics or sometimes natural fibres. This is a little wheel that runs on top of the cable. It's called a pulley and I need a handle for the person to grab onto. Um, I draw stick figures because they're quick but mostly because that's all I know how to draw. Whee! And there they go, whizzing away. I'm going to try and tidy that up a little bit. So I'm using the small ellipse on the splat to draw two ellipses, my pulley, and I'm drawing the handle on the left splat angle. And now I'm all finished. Sometimes if I want a really tidy drawing to display, I'll put it underneath another sheet and trace it through. If you can't see the drawing, try taping them onto a window and it makes it really easy to trace through. Thanks for designing and engineering with me today. It's been lots of fun. I'm Glenn. Thanks. Bye.